about child murders. And we'll divide you in the teams. And we'll begin to work. Okay, if you have pen and paper, the model we're going to use when it comes to child murders, there are three things we want to be able to do. The first thing is we want to be able to identify. identify. We want to be able to identify potential victims. We want to put any potential kidnappers. And the person doing the killing. We want to be able to identify those people. Probably the easiest one to identify is going to be the witch doctor. As in your village, whatever village you're from here today, you know who the witch doctor is in that village. You know who it is. It's not a secret. Everyone in the village knows who the witch doctor is. Is that true? <laughs> we no longer stay silent. When it comes to child murders, we no longer stay silent. I know that goes against your culture. Maybe even your parents trained you that you're supposed to go to the witch doctor. Or your grandma or your auntie. Or your auntie. But now you're born again. You're a new creation. All things are passed away. All things become new. We're going to be sacrificed. We need to locate where the witch doctor is doing the murders. Because they don't do the murder in their shrine, they do it somewhere else, as you know. Indeed. We need to identify and locate the kidnappers. And we need to identify and locate the kidnappers. And we need to identify and locate the kidnappers. Now, oftentimes, as you know, there are no kidnappers. There are not any kidnappers. Rather, the family is sacrificing the child on purpose. Because the very thing that we come against in prayer is always human reasoning and false arguments. Always. And the last thing is recovery. We want to be able to recover a child before they become a victim. If the child's already been murdered, then we want to be able to recover the remains so that the family can have closure. Or family is in other words, we don't want the family to wonder the rest of their lives what happened to their child. We want to be able to have the remains receive a proper burial. We want to be able does everybody understand what I'm saying? You want to get the future to come back? Clear. 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 Clear.
Remember this. The thing that drives child murders. The thing that drives child sacrifice. Is that people want to benefit from it. Through false strength, through human reasoning, through human reasoning and false arguments, people believe that you sacrifice a child, that you will have power. That you will have fame. That you will be protected. That you will be protected. Last week I was in Amongo. Uh, I was in Homo Bay County. Homo Bay County. And um, we we were able to talk with a witch doctor inside his shrine. And the witch doctor didn't know that I was recording us. And video. So I just was asking questions through my interpreter. And the witch doctor was boasting. He was bragging about how much power he had. And then he prays. And then he's born again. The witch doctor is telling me, a pastor, that he's born again. <laughs> and there's dead chickens. And there's eggs this high off the ground stacked up. And he has he had three different bells. And each bell would bring in different angels. That's what he said. We know those are demons, they're not angels. Amen. Amen. And whatever bells he rings, whatever blood he throws, whatever egg he throws, for you, the greater ones in you. Oh, yes. That blood, that egg, means nothing. Yeah. So much. Yeah. But at the end of at the end of our conversation, yeah. and he would talk, you know, African people speak very soft. Yeah. And he was speaking very soft. I would ask a question and he would and he would say to us 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 because he didn't want to look at the Jesus in me they don't want to look at the Jesus in you Amen Amen and so he told this last story he said a man came from a specific village in, in Kenya. Kenya. And the man needed fame. He wanted to be famous. He wanted to be wealthy. So guess what he brought as a sacrifice? A nursing baby. I asked the wish doctor which has more power the 10 year old boy or the nursing child and right away 
He said the nursing child will bring more power because the nursing child is innocent. Nursing child is pure. So if we sacrifice the nursing child, this person will have great faith. So I share that with you to help you understand this man who came to the witch doctor he brought a nursing child. Somebody in that village had to know there was a nursing child missing. Mama doesn't come home with a baby. Two months later, the baby just disappears. We need to start watching out for each other. Because that nursing child is alert. We're the Christians. We're the only ones that can stop this in the spirit. We're the only ones. And we can. If we will, we can. And then finally the man said this. I asked the question. I said, so what happened to the baby? The, the man came and brought the baby for sacrifice. And I said, well, where's the baby? What happened to the baby? I was trying to get him to confess that he killed the baby. Because I was recording. But he didn't know I was recording. When I asked him what happened to the baby, he just looked to the ground. He says, We can't talk about it. And I wanted to grab him by the throat. But we don't, we don't wrestle with people. We wrestle with the spirits that control the people. So to inflict bodily harm on him would do no good. Then he said this. I said, While being recorded, he said, I have sacrificed ten people and always at three in the morning. very sad. It's very crushing to my spirit. But I take strength in God. Knowing that if I teach you these things and you take them and you go into your village you're going to be saving children being murdered. I take courage in that. I take, I take strength in that. That you will do your part. And you will like, you'll identify, locate, and help recover. These children, stop them from being taken. Locate the remains that are buried. They're usually buried very shallow. They're not deep at all. And then talk to the authorities. And you will be saved. Thank you.
set us free. If anyone understands the truth, the truth makes them free, they will stop murdering children. The second point. He says, guys in the community about the dangers of child murder. Telling them, just in case the child was yours, would you murder them? If the community sister is about the day as a child mother, the baby is also strategy to stop child mother. The third point is praying for our villages and the entire nation. As the first group, we put emphasis on this. That we must intercede. The Bible says the heart of the king is in God's hand. Meaning that whenever we devote time in prayer, God can change those people's hearts. The fifth point. Just in case you have identified these people, it is better we put them in light. We let everyone know about them. You know, this person is a murderer. But at times we used not to mind. Therefore, we must expose them before the community. Fifth point. Is refraining our children from attending each and every party. As we in our group, some told us that a child was murdered just because she was good from the party. It was a wedding which concerned the elder uh, people. The child was supposed to be there. Then we say that if the function is not going to help the child in any way, we should stop them from attending those parties. The second point is always knowing where children are at any moment. Maybe at home. Not knowing where children have gone. That is, as it becomes to dark, you are told. We have found your child somewhere being murdered. So to stop child murder, we are parents should be in position to tell where our children are. Now, some of the points have been mentioned by the first discussant. She has, however, she has handled some of the points, but the way she has explained there is different from my explanation. Okay. So, group number one, point number one. The first point. Oktonda o ekule gana wakatuwa wakulembeze, baby alo, oba police ne kanisa. To create an understanding between the local leaders and the church. If there is that kind of work together between the LC, if there is any issue about a particular person, to say something of what we have studied, 
If there is a good cooperation between you and the local leaders, it will be easy. On their permission, the second point, parents let us take care of our children. Parents, we should not allow our children to move at night. And not to let them sleep in the house without people who are grown up. As in towns, if they find that the dad and the mom sleep in a certain room, and the children also sleep in a certain room, so it's better to sleep together as a family with our children. The two later, another point negative and the other side of the town. Then another one is stopping, to stop sending our children to towns. Before we, we used to give our children a thing to go and sell in markets and towns. For example, banana leaves. If we happen to do so, no one is there to take seven. The fourth point. Parents should stop being rude or tough on their children. That on its own can cause the children to run away from home and go anywhere else. Sometimes our children commit. Another issue is teaching our children to work in groups. We say it would be better if we leaders come and take part in leadership. Say you are chairman of the village. LC1, LC3, or any portion of leadership in community. If anyone comes onto the village, you have an opportunity to access them. Because they are all to come and inform the leaders of the community before taking races in that area. And even there are people complaining about that any person. The idea to have this type of conference came from the fact that we saw a video at our church in California, USA. And my wife saw it actually first. She had me look at it. And I saw the injustice of what was taking place. That's one of the things that we come against at our church in California. We go to countries where there's a lot of injustice. And we've learned over the years that if we can teach people who live in those nations, who live in those villages, if we can equip them and give them resources to end injustice, it works very well. And the theme that uh, God gave us was the elimination of child murders. And um, it was originally called child sacrifice, but we know that it's not sacrifice, it's murder. This is cold-blooded murder. And that's a complete injustice. It's, a, it's an abomination to God that people would sacrifice to benefit themselves. So we felt that if we could educate the community, if we could educate the villagers, uh, that they would rise up and they would stop cooperating with this horrible, horrible tradition and culture of murdering a child. Uh, in and around Rakhai and Mas greater Masaka area. What I've seen is uh, the people we're working with are pastors and leaders. And so they're pretty clear, they understand that what's happening with witch doctors and murdering children is, is totally wrong. Um, so we're equipping them uh, both through prayer 
and by creating awareness and by creating education for the children and for the parents and the guardians of the children, uh, how to not become a victim of child murder. The reason we chose the Born Again Pastors is because we know that through Jesus Christ, the empowerment of the Holy Spirit, we have authority over all things of darkness. And so the Bible says, greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. So we know that the spirit that's operating in these villages, over these villages, through the witch doctor, magicians, and the people that are committing these atrocities, we know that the spirit of God living in us is greater than the spirit living in them. At the end of the day, what we want to accomplish, uh, having spent two days at this conference, we want to see now the pastors empowered, equipped to go back to the villages and through prayer and through education and awareness and by developing maybe even a telephone hotline where the village people can call to report suspicious activity, we hope to eliminate, completely eliminate uh, child murders in Uganda. As we reach out to the children who are in the schools, uh, we want to educate them on what we, in America, we call it stranger danger meaning that they understand that when someone offers them some sweets or offers them some type of candy or offers them some type of food that they do not take it because that is something that sometimes people will use to kidnap the child and then have them sacrificed. So we want to get into the schools, the public schools, the Christian schools, the Catholic schools, the Muslim schools. We want to get into all the schools and protect these children. Well, clearly this is not something we can do on our own. Hence the name of our ministry is Side by Side. It's our desire to work with government officials, law enforcement, criminal justice system, the chiefs and the leadership in the villages, everyone. It, we, we call it a wraparound service. We want to work with everyone that's involved so that we can eliminate these child murders. Uh -oh. Olukunga na luno ugotuba demu olukwa taku child murder and injustice. Olukunga na luno lukuta bantu mbabiro bona baru abaru ulide amazimagali nti mo Uganda yonna nyenzo gamanti ekanisa ya side by side ye sose okolo lukungana oluso oluyiya mpenda ki zetu inzo kuita mo kuyamba abantu basobolo kubanga batukomya ekitabana naye olukungana luno ekyalu leta kubanga bwenchazo omusumba Kevin Brown okuba mu USA twali tugenda kolo lukungana Kampala Na ye buena mnyo miza kebi kwa tega na kuchita bantu echidi nukusinge da Muraka district. Kwa wanga mwenza alivwa, uh, chamu kumusajyo yo msumba, akoze muma wanga manji, nga akola kuchaudi trafficking, sex trafficking, nebi nitoe bifano kwa webitio. Ne unoku risichu winga bantu wabali muntaru. Kati alina magezi manji, gaya tui inzo kukozesa. Na yenga tuka kukozesa mukanisa, na yenga ila tukola gana nachi, na government, okusobola okubanga tuyamba abantu okubera nga bafuna emisomo ejinzo okubanga basobola okutegera engeje bayinzo okuyamba mu abana babwe ne batabasadda ekisadda kabana ki kiri waguru nyo kubanga nenna kweze zise na kungasa tu emabega era waliwo twauli denti ba basadda se era saidi yeno in fact mu greater masaka we tuba tukole eno fe tuogera greater masaka kubanga ebifo wano ebife kyantonde ebifa imbi mu mbirizi saidi yeyo mu rwengo tiwali nja uluni mu chotera kubanga ezona kati zi district ezetongode ne fe tuganti greater masaka nenge kitta bantu ekiri eno kiri wa guru nyo abana babatta abakuru babatta kugaba chi 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 wonyisa ah entanda yetu singide dala okusibirira abantu bano abaze okumusomo kwe kubanga tukozesa enkola okusokera dala eyo kusaba kubanga ekireso buzibu nenzo okubanga efuna emitawana jino jonna abantu baliko emyoyo emibi kati emyo yemibi jino tejinja kuvwao rwa kubanga police omuntu emukutte tejinja kuvwao kubanga yasibidwa mukomera ne ejisobola kuvwao olwensonga nti katonda ya mchusiza erecho tubalagide bongero kubulira enjiri akubanga abantu bategera katonda ebikorobero bigwao as pastor Emmanuel said you must get your education 